Today, we're going to explore the Patterns Beatmaker and Smart Drummer in the Soundtrap Studio. Now to start, I'm going to select a music project. It's okay if you select podcast, you can still access all of those features. But just for this purpose, we'll choose. Now, as you can see, Patterns Beatmaker is right in the middle because it is the coolest tool. You can select it. Or if you don't see that right in the middle, you can go to the left and select add new track, drums and machines, and now you'll see Patterns Beatmaker. So this will allow you to create your own drum beat. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. All right, so now you see the Patterns Beatmaker. It's a bunch of squares, empty boxes. And on the left, you'll see there's a kick, there's a snare and a hi-hat next to those boxes. You can other types of the drum, right? You can have toms or crashes or rides, um, but for, for this purpose, I'm just gonna show you these three. Now, all you do is fill in the boxes. So I like to start with kick, and I like to put one kick on each beat, kind of each set of four, as you can see here. We call that four on the floor. So let's hear how the kick sounds. Hear that four on the floor. Nice. It gets us going. It gets us moving. It's like we're walking. So for snare, I like to add kind of the offbeat. So in the middle of this set of four, sometimes I'll do a few, maybe some fun ones at the end. So now you'll hear the kick and then a few extra snare hits. Very fun. This is a good start to my project. Now the last one is the hi-hat. I like to fill it in as much as humanly possible um, to make it drive and fun and high energy. Oops, I forgot some boxes. <laughs> End my project. I'm going to go to the top right of my drum beat and loop it and extend it as long as I want so that I can add other things and layer on some other sounds. Now, say you want something a little easier even, maybe you don't have the time to fill in the boxes. We're gonna add a new track here, choose Drums and Machines again, and choose Smart Drummer. It's a virtual dross, Malibu Surf, Reggaeton, or Jersey Trap, or Perth. On the left, you'll see the genres. There's lots of different genres to choose from, whether it's R&B or rock, house or reggaeton. Malibu surf, because that sounds so fun today. So I really like that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and that switches to the preset. And I, now I have a new drum set. See, I have a new drum kit right here. Now I can add different instruments. So right now I have the kick and the cymbals. Maybe I wanna add some hi-hats. So if you notice, if you look here, if I click it, um, if a drummer can do it easily, or if they can do it with a little bit of difficulty. Hence, really hard to play, or is it a little easier, a little slower maybe? A little easier. The next is loudness, whether we want it to be really loud, especially if we're playing rock or a little softer. And then fills are the extra happen in between measures. Do you want a lot of fills happening every measure almost, or do you want very little? You want just a straight drum beat with no changes. I like fills, I think they're fun and unique. And then this last piece, humanize. This is if you wanna make it less robotic. Maybe the notes are a little earlier or a little later. Um, I really like this one because humans, we have kick, hi-hat, cymbals, low comp-
so fun. So again, I didn't take too much time and I didn't have to create much, but I now I'm going to add a little bonus for you in case you yourself want to try actually drumming. This is a, you're going to add new track, select drums and machine. You will choose patterns beat maker, but instead of using the patterns beat maker, you're going to go to the left to instrument. And now here you have a drum set. You can use your keyboard to put your own four on the floor. So fun.